Iranian All four boats you see WAB here are Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps vessels approaching at a high speed and apparently on a collision course with a U.S. Navy destroyer in the Strait of Hormuz. This, is USS this video USS shot from the USS Nitsa. It warned the Iranians with horns and flares to back off. Weapons uncovered. But at least two of the Iranian boats kept approaching, coming within 300 yards. Forcing the Nitsa to alter course Tuesday, the Iranian boats finally turning away. By Wednesday, a significant rise in tensions. Revolutionary Guard Corps boats harassing and endangering U.S. Navy vessels three times in 24 hours, the most dangerous resulting in the U.S. Navy firing warning shots at the Iranians. They did feel compelled ultimately to fire three warning shots, and uh, the reason for that is they had used uh, Steps, they had taken steps already to try and de-escalate this situation. It happened at the northern end of the Persian Gulf. An Iranian fast boat like this approached two U.S. Navy patrol craft, the USS Tempest and USS Squall. U.S. officials say the Squall, using its 50 caliber machine guns, fired three warning shots into the water at the Iranians. This after the Iranian boat had circled around the U.S. vessels, at one point coming within 200 yards. The U.S. Navy crews had fired warning flares. Eventually, the two sides had a short bridge-to-bridge -bridge conversation, but the warning shots fired when the Iranians still did not back away. The two U.S. Navy boats had been harassed earlier. Then the USS Stout also confronted Iranian boats, the third tense incident on the high seas. The danger of miscalculation is very high. Sooner or later, somebody's going to make From it. From overseas now, Fox News alert now. A U.S. defense official confirming an American warship has fired warning shots at four Iranian ships. Officials saying the Iranian Revolutionary Guard boats were closing fast on the Americans. This in the Strait of Hormuz, a, a sliver of water that can be dangerous and crowded. The American warship was escorting two other U.S. military ships, apparently, at the time. To the Pentagon and Jennifer Griffin for more on this. And uh, what happened just before those warning shots were fired, Jennifer? Well, Bill, here's what we know. A senior U.S. defense official tells me the USS Mahan fired the warning shots at 8 a.m. local time on Sunday. The U.S. Navy destroyer was escorting two U.S. warships into the Strait of Hormuz, a Marine amphibious landing ship with 1,000 Marines on board and a Navy oil tanker. That's when four Iranian swarm boats got within 900 yards of the American vessels. The U.S. destroyer demanded the Iranian boats halt, blaring its horn and then firing off three warning shots. In the past few days, Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps has been conducting an annual exercise in the Strait of Hormuz, simulating maneuvers needed to shut down the entrance to the Gulf, where much of the world's oil passes each day. That exercise, I'm told, is ongoing, Bill. It's been a constant issue as to whether or not we have enough, uh, well, a, a Navy carrier in the region, a U.S. Navy carrier. Uh, is there one in the Gulf right now, Jennifer? Well, actually, no. Uh, we were among the first to report on what the Navy calls a carrier gap. Fox News visited the USS George H.W. Bush late last year as it prepared to leave Norfolk, Virginia. The carrier was delayed in the shipyards by six months due to sequestration budget cuts. Senator Mark Warner, a Democrat from Virginia, wrote to the head of the Navy last week demanding answers. Quote, the absence of an aircraft carrier not only harms our force project projection capabilities and limits some of our military's flexibility to quickly respond to any number of unforeseen events that may arise. President-elect Trump's nominee for defense secretary, a retired Marine general, James Mattis, an Iran hawk, has his confirmation hearing on Thursday before the Senate Armed Services Committee. He is likely to be asked, Bill, what he will do about the carrier gap and recent Iranian provocations. The number of dangerous Iranian interactions with the U.S. Navy doubled in the first half of 2016 from the year before. Well, these hearings are going to be fascinating. Thank you, Jennifer Griffin from the Pentagon. Martha.